you two what's up y'all my name is Juan. come back to y'all with another video and today i'm going to show you guys my self-care routine now i know it's been a minute since my last post but i just had other things in my life that i had to focus on but don't worry okay superman is back and better than ever all right well besides the fact that your boy is looking kind of rough right now but we we go get that straight okay today we're going to spend the whole day getting back right and looking hella daddy is for the human female species okay <laughs> come on man, you know what i'm saying we talk about me here so it shouldn't be that hard you feel me if that sounds good to you man Make sure you hit that like button below man i'm tired of telling y'all but enough talking let's go ahead and get started with the video let's get it okay so the biggest bang for our buck right now is going to be getting a fresh haircut now personally me i try to do this sparingly because once i get a fresh cut women just tend to treat me like i'm some object like i'm more than just my looks okay like get to know me as a person ask me how my day was goodness oh yeah your boy been in the gym i keep telling y'all man they call me superman for a reason man like come on the clippers i'm going to be using today is the babyliss pro fx and i'm using the wall peanut as my trimmers i'm also going to be using the self-cut system as my mirror so i could see all around my head and i don't need to see no comments talking about ha <laughs> your head so big you need three bears relax okay it was never funny freaking jerk now listen i'm gonna be using a good amount of products in this video but don't worry okay all the products will be linked below and if you actually thinking about getting some actually use the links man like help a brother out today i'm gonna be giving myself my signature drop fade for those of you who don't know what a drop fade is it's basically just an all-around fade that creates an arc over your ears so that the fade drops towards the back now i'm not gonna be going over every single step on how i achieve this look this isn't really the video for that but if you want me to make an in-depth video on a step-by-step -step up guide on exactly how i cut my hair leave a comment below and you already know i got you but as you can see the drop fade results in a really dope cut that gives contrast to the sides and the top which adds more of a modern edgy sexy type of look like basically you're a sex symbol okay i made a video with me explaining more in depth on why i believe this is the best cut for men especially if you want to grow out your hair and the link will be above now i'm gonna be honest you can't be hemi neutron if you got bumps and scars and white stuff oozing out of your face my boy like it's just not the best look for you so next we're gonna move on to skincare now personally me i start by using a hot wash rag now nah, i don't really put it on my face i kind of put it close enough so that the steam can travel up the air molecule so that it can hit the crustaceans of my face it's simple social studies my boy now nah, but for real the steam opens up my pores and loosens up any buildup of dirt which allows for a deeper cleanse and helps your skin to absorb the products better next i'm going to cleanse my face using the CeraVe hydrating facial cleanser this is a very hydrating cleanser which works perfectly for my thirsty dry skin yeah i said it nah because my skin be really doing the most for no reason like you're not parched my boy and i dare my skin to say something about it like i'll put this product down so fast boys don't play with me next i'm gonna do a face mask since it's been a minute since i done my last one today i'm using the aztec clay mask and you really can't go wrong with this mask it's really cheap it's super effective and it's really cheap hey balling on the budget gang we up all right the affordability just speaks volumes to the soul do you hear me now when making this i mix the clay powder with apple cider vinegar because it makes the mask stronger and gives a more detox effect but if you don't want the mask as harsh you could just use water when i'm done i apply the mask evenly on my face and then i just wait for it to dry once the mask dry and starts gripping my face with maximum efficiency i just rinse the mask off with some water you can also use that wash rag it makes the process a lot easier lastly i moisturize moisturize my face using the Nivea soft moisturizing cream this product right here is super moisturizing and is used to rehydrate my skin next we're going to move on to my beer routine if you guys want to see my in-depth beer routine video it'll be linked above but i'm gonna just do a quick little run through right now i start by using the shea moisture beer wash just to cleanse my skin and get all the dirt and grime out of my beard and then i just wash it out once i'm done next i'm going to use the beard conditioning oil beard oil softens and tames that prickly beard hair it also hydrates the skin so make sure you really massage it into your face lastly i use bear balm <laughs> and this junk the bomb.com you feel me bad joke i apologize bear balm is a super thick oil that gives a more nourishing and longer lasting moisture this also gives your beard hold and extra shine while keeping it healthy and this is the product that really makes your beard glisten in the sunlight and gives you that bust down beard look like diamonds in an ap or roly is cute and all but it got nothing on my beard when i use these products on oh now 
look at that. We got a fresh cut, nice skin, sharp beard. Hey, yo, listen, I've never been soft a day in my life, but that brother right there looking real park toot in this right now. We about halfway there already. At this point, we definitely pulling about 97% of all aunties right now. Like, to be honest, I could just step out just like this. You feel me? But I'm not. <laughs> I know my limits. Whatever atrocity that's on the top of my head might scare a couple of the baddies away, you feel me? And to be real, I don't blame them. Like, personally, I can't even tell if this thing's dead or alive. But whatever it is, it don't look safe. So we gonna go ahead and get started with this hair routine expeditiously, all right? Now, my full in-depth wash day tutorial will be linked above. But in this video, I'm gonna be using more affordable products for you guys. Because let's be honest, we really out here balling on a budget. Personally, I always gotta start my wash days by detangling my hair, mainly because my hair strands just love to be interconnected for some reason like dang back up gang like y'all all up on each other like the concept of personal space just doesn't equate with these guys but i already went to war and detangled my hair off camera and trust me your boy fought the good fight and my weapon of choice was my holy grail african pride pre-shampoo next i'm going to shampoo my hair and today i'm using the vo5 clarifying shampoo i lather the product in my hands and really focus the shampoo on my scalp now the shampoo will get to the rest of the hair as it rinses down but you don't want to focus that concentrated formula on the hair itself. Once I finish, I take out the twist and rinse out the shampoo, allowing the soapy water to travel all the way down and off my hair. Next, I condition my hair using the Aussie Moist Conditioner. I just add conditioner to a section of hair and really rake it through and just make sure that my hair is fully coated and detangled. And y'all know the drill. Once I'm done, I twist up the section just to make sure that my hair stays detangled. Once I apply conditioner all throughout my hair, I rinse it out and move on to the final step, which is deep conditioning. Today, I'm using the Shea Moisture Intensive Hydration Hair Mask, and I apply the hair mask just how I did the regular conditioner. But this time after I was done, I've tied a plastic bag over my head just to trap in the heat and I let the product sit for 30 minutes. When I'm finished, my hair feels super clean, moisturized, and healthy. Next, I'm gonna give myself a trim, something I'm well overdue for. To do this, I gotta blow out my hair. And guess what? I got a video on that. Look, y'all, I'm running out of links to use in this video, but I'm gonna have all the links in the description box below. Make sure you use them, all right? I section my hair in four sections on each side just because it's easier to manage and you get more of a stretch. Next, I use the Shea Moisture Miracle Style Leave-In Treatment. I suggest using lightweight leave-ins when doing blowouts just to make sure that your hair isn't weighed down. Next, I'm gonna use the Cheese Silk Infusion as my heat protectant. Next, I blow out my hair using my handy dandy Dyson blow dryer and I use it with the wide tooth comb attachment. When I'm finished with the section, I add some argan oil just to add some shine and lock in the moisture. Then I lightly twist the section back up and continue the process throughout my hair. Moving on to the actual trim today i'm thinking about cutting quite a bit of hair off since it's been a while since my last trim and my hair is just getting extremely long like this is crazy while y'all worried about growing y'all hair faster i'm trying to slow up my hair growth it's a blessing and a curse my boy but i'm at a good length and i'm at the point where i can do any style i want so i don't need it to get any longer than what it is right now but anyways i grab my hair shears and get to snipping yeah i ain't never make a trimming video sight i made that one too you know what i'm saying the link is below this part took me about an hour, but it was well worth it. My hair is so much fuller, it's super thick, it's way easier to detangle, and my hair just looks healthier overall. Next, I had to get fancy on them and style my hair by doing three strand twists. With three strand twists, you have to do a little more work than two strand twists, but it's well worth it, okay? Like it's really simple and gives your curls more of a spirally texture, which just looks absolutely amazing, okay? If you guys want to make a tutorial on this, make sure you leave a comment below and you know. I got y'all and I'm serious like if I don't see the comments then I'm not I'm not doing it I'm not wasting my time I only do videos that the people want to see Ooh! Right now, your boy looking hella daddyish right now. See, I was down bad in the beginning, but we up now. Listen, I may look rough 90% of the time, but that 10%, that 10% is something serious. On what? We are definitely on point with everything pertaining to the face. Now we just gotta get the body right. And then we can really hit that max daddy prestige level, you feel me? So let's go ahead and get to the gym. Now, I go to the gym six days out the week. I do a push-pull leg split. Today is a push day, my favorite day. And that means I'm working on chest shoulders and triceps while i was gone i really dialed in on my fitness one thing about me is that i'm always striving to become the best version of myself like self-improvement is just fun to me bro i really enjoy it over the years i got the good hair the clear skin nice beard but i was seriously lacking when it came to my body and y'all definitely let me know about it oh he got good hair but he need to get in the gym shut up 
freaking jerk. Nah, I appreciate y'all though, man. Like, them comments really lit a fire in me and gave me the motivation I needed to get in the gym. Male beauty standards have definitely gone to an entirely another level. And I'm truly grateful to have an audience of men that are dedicated and look to me as a source of information, entertainment, and motivation. I'm taking y'all along with me on this journey and sharing all the knowledge I've gained so y'all too can look your best and feel good about yourselves. And with that brings a whole new level of confidence that the ladies love, you feel me? And we not strictly doing this for the ladies. Who am I kidding? We doing this for the ladies. Like, let's be honest. If it was just men in the world, we'll all be looking hurt, bruh. We wouldn't care about our appearance in the slightest bit. Women are just a huge motivator when it comes to improving ourselves and improving the society around us. My one year fitness journey is coming to an end and the difference in my body is just absolutely insane. Like, I'm really proud of myself. But this is only the beginning. We finna kick it to a whole nother level in year two. But I documented my whole process. So let me know if you guys want me to make a one year fitness journey video. And in that video, I can go more in depth on everything that I've done to make this transformation. So yeah, just leave a comment down below if you want that. And also let me know any other videos you guys want to see. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you made it to the end, make sure you leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.